uh, now we will develop the first application regarding uh, like surlets uh, so out of three approaches which one is better approach here third approach is better the third approach here class my surlet is extending to hdf surlet right so i will develop the application by using third approach so hdf surlet means we have to override total how many methods are there total uh, total eight seven seven request types right do get do post do delete do put do head do trace do options those are the methods now the frequent use methods are do get and do post now we'll write the application regarding do get and do post so clear so and one more thing here do the practicals by using only edit plus, uh, eclipse id don't use edit plus and all and in front of the video don't sit ideal can please take the you take your laptop or uh, what are the things i done practically in your laptop also do the same things so clear first listen the video then start the practical is not a good process so parallelly do the practicals clear so start the practical here now to download to develop the gts uh, like uh, solid application can please download the uh, eclipse id j double eclipse id just now i developed a j downloaded eclipse id extract here this is eclipse j double e indigo sr2 windows 32 bit operating system this is if you want 64 bit operating system it is a different eclipse id how to download that one from internet this is eclipse id this is eclipse 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 uh, it is asking workspace uh, workspace means where you have to save your application so here in eclipse id i done the practicals right which is called workspace so i will show the, uh, my workspace in the local disk mm, local disk g i would like to create advanced job folder in that advanced job folder i would like to create my applications like that how to select the workspace in which workspace you selected in that workspace your applications will be stored so go close here this is project explorer this is a body area this is a console part go to the file menu click on new so here dynamic web project how to go for the jpa project the enterprise application project is there so you have to go for dynamic web project i want dynamic web project so dynamic web project here what is the project name so here how to select the project name so this is my app1 application 1 so uh, dynamic model version is present version of solid is 3.1 any anyway, can please select the 2.5 when i select the 3.0 web data xml file is not generated the reason here from the 3.0 onwards the solids are supports annotations concept from to from 3.0 onwards the solids are supports annotations when we select the 3.0 what happened here annotations will be replaced when annotations will be placed in instead of web data xml file if you want web data xml file can please click on 2.5 then click on which button here finish button this is app my project So this is web application directory structure. So I showed uh, like uh, web application directory structure. There is a normal approach. In the Eclipse side, this is generated like that. Web content folder, the web content folder, web binary folder, lib folder, web data XML file. Here I hope the classes folder is missing, right? The classes folder you have to save inside the Java resources folder, SRC. This is web content folder is a project folder. So inside this one, group of HTML files we want, and uh, web binary folder, lib folder, web data XML file is there. and we want java resources you have to go for the java resources here so clear this is a way first uh, let me write the login page in the login page login success and login failure i would like to perform those operations i would like to perform those operations the first application will give a lot of information like a uh, lot of uh, like we can say a meaningful information i can you every application give a meaningful information only but the basic points i will give in this example can please try to understand this is very very important first example First of all, let me prepare the HTML file. The HTML file means public area. Here, web content folder is there. In the web content folder, I click on new. Uh, here, new. I want HTML file. So this is my HTML code. So let me write the login dot HTML file. Login file. This is called login dot HTML file. To increase the font size, it is a big process. Uh, how to increase the font size means go to the preferences. So general appearance, color sans font, basic font. so go down here text font so here you select the 14 bold italic so okay okay this is my font good so this head part is not required for me so let me create the form tag first so form tag form method action attribute action attributes url pattern slash login and you have to specify the method type what the method type here so method equal to method equal to get main better this is showing can please observe here get to post means the main request types are two get request and post request 
action tag i said this is called url pattern right this is my form tag inside this form tag can please write the form page like uh, the first one is what username so username next one is what input type equal test name equal to this is logical name right logical name is u name so after this one so we use the break then control goes to next line the same way the next one here so password the password so input uh, input so type equal to test or password test is not required when we enter the test what happened here in the text field the data is visible but password is generally the data is not visible right like it's visible in the stars stars format input type equal password name equal to what user password upwd so slash can so open brace close the brace then use the break then use the break so what is this one here button i want so input input type equal to so not text how to go for what submit input type equal submit next one is value equal to how to go for login this is my login file so completed this is our file i want so concentrate this is my form tag the form tag and which request you are specifying here get request you are specifying so slash login this is url pattern when i click this login what happen here action tag url pattern will be highlighted so control s this is my login file for this login file i would like to write the corresponding which like servlet so go to the src folder right click on src new i want java class sorry i don't want the class i want servlet right so click on new here i want servlet in the servlet package name i'm writing the package name is what com.dss so package name is class name what the class name here i'm writing login servlet the super class is what third approach what is the third approach here extends http servlet java x dot servlet dot http dot http servlet no other than i want second approach second approach means browse here so go for what generic servlet mm, generic servlet this is a way so here i have to go for the generic servlet the option is there you can check the generic servlet anyway i don't want generic servlet here i want the http servlet here go for the http servlet so click on finish button this is class and it shows error messages uh, why the generic solid is not showing means because we are not performing build path configurations what is the build path uh, configure build uh, like uh, solid if in api.jar file right it is showing error message because we have to perform the build path because this http solid this all thing predefined support is present in jar file what is the jar file name here solid if in api.jar file or not so we have to override the jar file like we have to build path the jar file that on how to build path the jar file right click on project hmm. build path configure build path libraries add external jars which jar files select the location of jar files program files apache foundation 7.0 the folder is called what lib folder i want servlet hyphen api so click on open so servlet hyphen api is there click on ok now it is rectified so here by default it is overriding how many methods here do get method and do post method now tell me we are sending request to which method here do get so here we have to write the logic in this place this is called do get method clear so this is login servlet so this is when i click the login button so what happen what about web.xml file uh, coming to web.xml file so you can please check the web.xml file where is the location of web content folder web bina folder web.xml file right web.xml file source here correct click on source the source by default class name is taken as a servlet url pattern we can check it this is welcome file list we will discuss the welcome file list i will discuss that welcome file list leave it so this is servlet tag the servlet tag it contains two tags one is a servlet tag one is a servlet mapping tag cancel this login servlet login servlet logical name logical name both are same right so here we have to provide the mapping first by default web.xml file is taking what what is url pattern here login servlet class name right so there's a reason so don't disturb the predefined one so just here copy paste the slash login servlet now concentrate when i click the login button action tag login servlet will be highlighted go to web.xml file action tag url pattern login servlet so action tag url pattern under update xml file url pattern both are matched right so login servlet log 
HTML file URL pattern, web.xml XML file URL pattern. Both are matched or not? If the both are matched, means tell me. For this login solid URL pattern, what is the logical name here? Logical name solid, logical name solid. Right? For this logical name, this is logical name, logical name, logical name. What is the corresponding solid class here? Com dot DSS dot login solid or not? This class will be executed. Com dot DSS dot login solid will be executed. I hope you understand, right? So HTML file logins action tag URL pattern and web XML file URL pattern both are matched. Then corresponding logical name is logical login servlet. This login servlet, the corresponding com dot DSS dot login servlet will be executed. Com dot DSS dot login servlet will be executed. I hope you understand this one, right? Good. So now here go to login servlet in the do get method you have to override. So first of all you have to write the general settings. What are the general settings? The general settings, first of all, uh, all the requested details which is coming from the client browser, those requested details are stored in which object here? Request object. So what are the requested details? We are request, we are clear, we are entering username, password, click on login button, right? That username and password is called requested details. Tell me those requested details are stored in which object here? Request object. And the response object is initially empty. We have to add the response to the response object. Then that response object is displayed into client browser. The response object is displayed in client browser. First of all, general setting. What is the general setting? Response dot. We have to specify set the content type. What is the set the content type? In which type of response you are sending to the client browser? The response dot set the content type means. Uh, for the response, we are setting the content. So, which type of content we are transferring to the browser, browser window? Response dot set content type. So, now here I would like to send either text data, a browser, I am sending text data, HTML data, can please hold the data. Response dot set content type. There I said initially response object is empty. Initially, response object is empty means we have to add the response into response object or not. To add the response into response object, we are using on Java object like print writer object. So tell me initially response object is empty. To add the response into response object, Ratan, I would like to add some response into response object. To add the response into response object, we want some extra object that is called what? Print writer object. First of all, get the print writer object. By using that print writer object, we are able to add the response into response object. But then how to get the print writer object means simple way the print writer the print writer writer equal to on the response object only how to use what get writer method it returns the print writer object by using that print writer object we are able to write the data into the response object how to write the data here writer dot the method name is called what println so here i am writing hi this is my first application Hi, this is my first application. So, just I'm writing this is a break. Break means what? Br. Just I'm saying this is my get method. This is a get request. Just I'm saying information like this. Good. So this is my get request. Now tell me here. I would like to get the requested details. Tell me when I execute the login solid. The requested details are present which object here? Request object. Request object contains how many requested details here? Two requested details. So here, uh, retry the requested data gathering logics. Requested data, requested data gathering. How to gather requested data here? Request dot, the method name is called what? Get parameter of. Here, how to give the logical name of the text field? I want to get the username, right? Username logical name is what? U name. So here, go here. Uh, get parameter of logical name then it returns which data obviously hmm? what it returns here the string data right so it returns the string mm, the string username the same way i would like to get the password how to get the password here request dot get parameter of tell me user password upwd then password is displayed then store the data here the string mm, tell me the string user password so this is requested data gatherings after requested data gathering we have to logics be business logics of the application what is the business logics can please write the business logic here just i'm checking the if condition if uh, so uname dot equals of 
यूनियम डॉट इक्वल्स ऑफ विच इन द डबल कोर्ट्स दुर्गा अंड यूनियम डॉट इक्वल्स ऑफ दुर्गा अंड यूजर पासवर्ड डॉट इक्वल्स ऑफ विच इन द डबल कोर्ट्स रहता है यूजर नेम डॉट इक्वल्स दुर्गा पासवर्ड डॉट इक्वल्स रहता है कैन प्लीज राइट द राइटर डॉट मैसेज आई वांट ऐड द रेस्पॉन्स इन रेस्पॉन्स ऑब्जेक्ट टू ऐड द रेस्पॉन्स इन रेस्पॉन्स ऑब्जेक्ट वेर इज कुछ ऑब्जेक्ट हियर प्रिंट राइटर ऑब्जेक्ट प्रिंट राइटर राइटर इक्वल टू राइटर डॉट प्रिंट एल एन हियर लेट मी राइट लॉग इन सक्सेस लॉग इन सक्सेस इफ लॉग इन सक्सेस आई वुड लाइक टू प्रिंट द यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड टू प्रिंट द यूजर नेम पासवर्ड सिस्टम डॉट आउट डॉट प्रिंट एन ऑफ सो टेल मी हियर सो यूजर नेम so i'm printing this is my username plus union so like that can please print the password what is the password here user password i'm printing the information like that just i'm getting the request details after getting the request details i'm performing the business logic if uh, in the else block just i'm writing the writer dot print ln tell me writer dot print ln of what just i'm writing this is my login fail This is my do get method. This is my business logic. Enough. I hope you understand, right? So I am sending a request to do get method. Now, which method is executing here? Do get method. General settings. What are general settings? Tell me here. Response dot set the content type. It is specifying which type of response you are sending to the client browser. Response dot set the content type means what? Which type of response you are sending to the client browser? That is called response dot set the content type. Text to slash HTML. Otherwise, Word files like PDF files. What are the things we require? You can specify CSS files. What are the files you want? You can specify that files. Then the browser is able to hold that files. Next one is what? Print writer object. Tell me what is the purpose of print writer object here? Initially, response object is empty. To add the response into response object, we are using which object here? Print writer object. There is a purpose of print writer object. So, what is the next one here? Requested data gathering logics. All the requested details. I entered username, password, right? Those requested details are present in which object here? Request object. Those requested details are present in which object? Request object. Uh, if you give those details present in request object, means how to get those details? Request dot get parameter. Request dot get parameter. Then initially response object is empty. To add the data in response object, just I'm checking username password. If username dot equals of Durga and password dot equals of Ratan, then login success. I'm printing the details. Otherwise, writer dot print ln. So what is the purpose of writer dot print ln here? The writer dot print ln main advantage is uh, it is adding the data into which object here? Response object. It is adding the data into response object. So clear. There is information regarding your first application. I will run the first application here. Can please check it. This is login at HTML5. I will repeat the flow of execution one more time. Can please check it. When I click the login button, action tag login surlet URL pattern web dot XML file URL pattern both are matched. Corresponding logical name is what login surlet logical name is login surlet. The corresponding class will be executed. What is the class here? Com dot DSS dot login surlet. This is called fully qualified name. What do you mean fully qualified name? The class name with the complete package structure is called fully qualified name. So clear? So let me run this application. How to run the application here? To run the application, first of all, you need to configure the server into the application. How to configure the server? Then go to the Windows. Very very important. Concentrate. Go to the Windows. I want to configure server. Preferences. Windows under preferences. Good. Here we are having server concept. Servers. Server runtime environment. See here, any runtime environment here? Server? No. Can you please add the server. Which server I want to add here? Tomcat server in my system. Tomcat server is installed. Click on next. We how to browse the initialization directory. Where is the initialization directory here? My computer. Local disk C. Program files. Apache Foundation. Tomcat 7.0. Up to Tomcat 7.0, how to browse it? So then click on what? Finish. Here server is added. Click on OK. Click on OK. I will repeat one more time. Windows preferences. Here click on Add. Rather than already server is existed, you can remove. One. If you want to remove, you can remove the server. If any problems I encounter, sometimes I will remove all servers. You can please add the server, new server. Tomcat 7.0. 
so click on next you have to browse the installation directory the first time it won't show the installation directory the second time it once you once you last time i done that that path right tomcat 7.0 click on finish click on okay then i would like to run this application to run the application tell me right click on project hmm run as run on server so java applet java application is a core java run on server so here it is selecting server tomcat manually defining new server tomcat 7.0 so click on next app1 click on finish now server is started service started once the service started means the browser is by, by default browser servlet is this is a browser this is a browser regarding servlet tell me first of all we have to launch that file which file you have to launch login file this is my app1 is a project name in that project i want to launch which file here login servlet right login.html file enter this is a login file when i click the login button that web.xml file uh, login at html when i click the login button html file url pattern and web.xml file url pattern both are same that login solid will be executed what is the username i entered here durga password is ratan i entered valid details when i enter the valid details click on what login button what happened here login solid so the spell wrong maybe login servlet login servlet mm. login file so dot you can add the dot so to open the current working directory you're using dot dot slash login servlet this is also login servlet right a bit xml file is this login servlet or not okay good both are set so we can run that application one more time how to run the application right click on project run as run on server click on next say pp1 click on finish so here what is the file name here login data html <coughs> username is what ratan password is what ratan invalid credentials login come on do one thing sometimes i didn't i did project correctly everything is fine somebody is so you're not showing any process here you can please clean the project once go to the project options we have to clean the project once clean all project project is cleaned you can please stop the server once here red symbol is there you can please stop the server then run the application once i clean the project i run the application then project is everything is fine we pp1 so finish button and please stop the server stopped right click on project run as run on server click on next click on finish now server is started here good server is started what is the file name here login data html now username what is the username here i entered durga correct username password this is login success information when i click the login success what is the data here 